All right, it's getting faster. <gasps> Got it. Now, I've tried this on a small fan, but at the end of this video, I'm gonna be using this guy. We're gonna make this thing launch. This is the fidget spinner. Of course, you've all heard of it. I was trying to hold out as long as possible without getting one of these. I didn't know what I would think of this thing. They're kind of cool and addicting, and I hate it because I spin it all day. If you have one of these things, comment below what your longest spin is. I would love to know. I've heard people get like five to eight minutes spinning this thing. I don't believe it, unless I have a really, really crappy one. I wish someone would make a fidget spinner with a counter on it to tell me how many times it's rotated. That would be awesome. Mine's a little crappy. I got it on Amazon and it's already broken. I got one of the $10 ones or so. Oh. And because I drop it all day long. Now, the fidget spinner, is totally like a helicopter propeller. That's what I always think of when I spin this thing. I'm like, it should fly out of my hands. And then I got thinking, okay, let's add blades to it. So I taped these duct tape blades to it to the point where I can spin it in my hand without getting a paper cut. And warning at home, you could get a paper cut doing this. So my first model that I tested was all cardboard, didn't work. The paper allows it to slice through the air but also get lift at the same time. And it's going fast enough that you actually don't need big props here. So there's three blades and it's gonna spin this way. I'm not even very good at spinning these very fast, but you can already hear with a light spin how fast that's going. And you've heard of people uh, making these go like a couple hundred miles an hour apparently with air cans. So I had to figure out the best aerodynamic shape to go on the fidget cube. Then I got my first fan, the small, put to level three and I'll show you, if I just place this in the center of the fan, it will start spinning on its own and it'll actually try to get lift. And I'm gonna let it go so you can see here. You'll see it starts picking up speed. It takes, it could take a minute, so we might cut out a little bit for you, but it, it, it's, it's pretty incredible. And you can see it start wiggling around too. So you can see it moving and it'll, uh, it, see, there it goes, so it gets a little speed and then it messes up and that's the problem. This fan barely has gotten it above two inches and I think there's something here, I don't know the science behind it, we need a guy like Vsauce here, but it traps some sort of pressure here because of the curve and see the indent of the fan, it goes down, so this is like a cool landing pad, it works out on my fan that it allows it to go up to here and then it always does this like you saw. So next we're gonna try this. And this is gonna be our next test. It's even got a little landing pad here. Oops, it got a little takeoff pad. I can't remove it because it's screwed in. I think it actually would be better if it was off. But we are gonna try this next. We're gonna fire this baby up on level three. It's gonna get loud. No, that one's not getting air. Nope. So, oh, it's going. <laughs> oh. And once it starts going up, I'm gonna move the fit. Oh. So have fun turning these little fidget spinner toys into flying saucers. Ow. And be careful with paper cuts, seriously. They'll get ya. Whoosh.